Out of control parties at short term rentals have caused problems from the city to the shore and now some beach towns are considering new requirements aimed at cracking down on these types of gatherings. Action News reporter Katie Castro is live in Brigantine to explain. Katie. And Christy, officials here in Brigantine are trying to balance vacationers who are here to party, living next door to people who live here all year round and have to get up for work the next day. You like to be woken up in the middle of the night and to be uh, music and the noise come out of a complete sleep. Residents say big shore homes going up on the 300 and 400 blocks of 20th Street in Brigantine have turned into party homes, disturbing their quality of life. If you've seen the movie with John Belushi, Animal House, this is what we're dealing with. The city is trying to step in. In uh, 2017, council actually passed a series of uh, ordinances that we call like an animal house ordinance. Short-term rental properties have to be licensed with the city. If they become a nuisance property and there's a number of complaints that come in from the community, we're actually able to take that before a judge and um, impose fines. The mayor says the city is also looking at new construction of large homes that have the potential of turning into short-term rentals. He's also looking into minimum stays for short-term rentals, but no new legislation is out yet. This revolving hotel type of trade, it's not for the residential zones. Now, nearby shore towns like Ventnor have added a minimum for those short-term rentals in order to cut down on party houses. In the meantime, Brigantine's mayor wants to hear from more residents before he puts any kind of legislation into effect. There is a city council meeting scheduled for July 12th at 5 p.m. over at City Hall. Reporting live here in Brigantine, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News. Brian. Katie, thank you.